What's going on guys? Mega Gig back with another video, back with our Dark Elves Let's Play with Total War Warhammer 2 on the Mortal Empires campaign. Yes, I said it right this time. Continuing where we left off, we've got uh, Malekith coming up here. He's going to get to Nagarond and get him a couple of elite units. Because we can kind of afford it now, we're making a little bit of money. Even though I think we still don't have any trade. Yeah, we lost trade. Although, we are improving with quite a few empires now. We might be able to get trade soon. We might actually be able to get some trade. Nice. And that's going to improve... Uh, why didn't it... Here, let's do this. <clears throat> that's going to improve our relations, I think, with these guys, too. Yeah, a little bit there. I don't think we're quite good enough to get anything with them yet. Uh, and Bretonia, we're improving quite a bit, too. Can't quite get anything yet. The Vampire Coast. Um, what are these guys mad about? Uh, they just got Rulers Prejudiced. and So it looks like our best bet is still Bretonia. And the Empire, and we had trade with a couple others last time, but we lost it because we lost the uh, a route to their capital. Uh, we don't have any buildings to build that we haven't skipped last time. I don't see any high elf um, things, so the plan is, once we get Malekith up here, uh, get him a couple of elite units, and uh, then send him back down and start dealing with the high elf so we don't keep getting those incursions every now and then instead we're going to take the fight to them and uh, and yeah that's the plan and we're trying to get oh, I can't believe this still oh and there's one darn of course they pop out of nowhere they're in force march um Let's see here. Who wants a non-aggression pack? No. I am never ever taking another non-aggression pack with uh, any rogue nation or anything like that. Because so all they're going to do is stand by one of my cities and raid me. I can't believe that these guys are successful every single time. So now we're kind of at an impasse. We can come back up here and get those elites. Or we can head back down here. Ridiculous. Ah, which is what I really want to do. Because I don't want to lose this again. Because we have all this. What's the garrison like? It's a decent garrison. Unwise. We can't see what they've got. They can attack next turn. They're close enough. Um... And who was it that they wounded? Yeah, they even wounded our Death Hag that goes in his army. Come on, get lucky. No. Our Death Hag and, uh, and our Sorcerer, I believe. Yeah, she's wounded too. I'm not really sure if we need a Sorcerer in his army because he cast plenty of spells on his own. Uh, we could put a sorcerer in another army and put, say, an assassin in his army. We could do something along those lines. And now we're making a lot more money because of our trade agreement with uh, the dwarves. Yeah, now, that boosted it up quite a bit. We're still improving with these guys quite a bit, so we're just going to leave it there for now, I think. We could give them a small gift. Improve a little more. 1450. Once we actually get trade with them, it's going to go... Uh, it's going to go up. I think the trade amount will go up kind of like it did with, uh, with the dwarf. So it'll be worth it. Spend a little money now. Uh, so I don't want to lose this. So I'm going to go ahead and come back down here, I think. Problem is, I don't have my heroes in this army. Man, these high elves. You just leave me alone for a little bit. Getting so annoying. Uh, and then up here, what, we're almost done replenishing. We 
I've got a skill point here. Uh, go ahead and give her punishment. Plus 13, minus 7. If we go to raiding, we don't take uh, we don't take attrition, but it does hurt our public order quite a bit. But it's only for one turn, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get down here in two turns. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. We actually don't need this. Not sure why we didn't get rid of that the first time. And we've got our dark arc, or our black arc. Um, I, I'd like to move it around here so it can help more here, but these big armies are going to get rid of it, and I don't have enough to feel the whole army in this to have it defend itself. So it's kind of just wasting space here, to be honest. Um, but it's going to help out when we're able to fight um, let's see where's the it's kinda hard to see the ring it looks like it's right there it's not gonna help there but it'll help out in these kinda more coastal areas and I think it can actually get I think it can get this shipwreck yeah there we go we got a giant blade nice Lost cargo, growth, and income. Alright. Building upgrades. Don't really need any of these. I don't really want to spend the money on them. I mean, I could go ahead and go up to this, and then that would allow uh, Malekith to recruit a dragon and a uh, Hydra from here, rather than having to come all the way back to Nagarond. It's kind of expensive, though. But we are making money, I guess. We can go ahead and upgrade those. Let's see. Let's go ahead and upgrade all this stuff. Ah, and this will unlock recruitment of Hydra. Nice. And what else do we want to put here? Uh, Chaos Corruption is going up because of Osmosis. I guess there's a lot of Chaos Corruption what down here. There is. It's going down, though. Yeah, so the chaos corruption all around is going down, which is good. Um, yeah, let's go with uh, let's go with an altar of Cain here. Now they're going to attack this turn, so we'll probably have to defend. I imagine they're going to attack. Maybe they can't. Maybe they can't get on land and attack. We shall see. We're going to do what we can. Raiding. Of course there's raiding. Why wouldn't there be raiding? Even though we've kind of got our bearings, we're still... Oh, I guess raiding is actually from me. <laughs> In the north. Kind of a weird... Um... Oh, they didn't get to attack me either. Alright. Kind of a weird notification. I know I'm raiding my own area. We might not give Malekith another dragon, because he himself is on a dragon. We might just give him a Hydra. They want peace? No. I want to get rid of them. Oh, no! They wounded our death hag up there, too. Man, these agents are out of control. Noble of Just completely out of control. Alright, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and go with some public order here. Because it's going to be a while before we get this sorted out. Uh, well, actually, yeah. We can't go with this yet. We're only level 2, so we'll go with public order. Lord not moved. No, that's not anything. I could... This guy's not doing anything. I could go ahead and send him around and get a couple of these uh, little discoverable things while we're waiting to come back down. 
Oh, critical failure. Uh, he was wounded in the attempt. Are we ever going to get rid of this dude? This guy is making me want to make this Let's Play R-rated right now. <laughs> I don't need another black arc. Let's see. If I come and garrison in here, they're going to just leave. But if I come right here, 25%, right? 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 Set up an ambush, yeah? And then they won't see it coming. And we don't need public order there. So, that's what we're going to do. Let's check our uh, settlements real quick. The only thing that is losing um, is up here. And once we capture this next turn, we'll be able to set a commandment, and that'll get us going. So we're going to go ahead and end the turn. And since we kept the camera up here, we won't click that. I want to see what the, uh, what the high elves do to us if they come after us. assume they're going to. I've got to get rid of this guy. Settlement besieged where? And we didn't get a battle last time, so we're going to get a battle this time, somehow or another. Which settlement has been besieged? It is down here. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I actually don't want to fight it like that. We are going to fight this one. And we're going to fight it out in the open. Um, so we're going to do it like this, actually. Uh, leadership, I guess we'll give to Malekith. We don't have any other banners. That's interesting. So we'll have Malekith go after this dragon. Uh, we've got plenty of units. Um, we're definitely going to use our chariots this time. And we're going to have to go after these ranged units. And they're almost all... They're all spear... Uh, spear um, missile infantry. But they only have five of them. They've got these two and then these three... So we can try and run our um, run our garrison units towards them or something. We've got range too. We can get them down. They do have three elite units here. They've actually got these two range. Oh, dual sword infantry. Uh, so these are essentially like our black art corsairs. Just better, I guess. Uh, Forty and forty-one attack and defense compared to. 44 and 26. So we've got more attack, but a lot less defense. So let's go ahead and get in on this. We'll line up next to our um, we'll line up next to our reinforcements. And then we shall advance. Battle of the Twisted Glade. I actually like the sound of that. We've got these rocks right in the middle, which is kind of annoying. It looks pretty good. Let's line up. Um, where are they? They are right there. I don't want to fight in the trees. So we're going to line up back here. We'll see if they'll come to us. We'll see if we can get them to come to us. If not, we can at least get all of our uh, reinforcements together. And, uh, and then march forward. Alright, and then we've got these guys too. And then of course Malekith. And that's it. So let's start the battle. Uh, 
Reinforcements. Bring these guys back uh, here. The true king. Move these guys up a little bit. It does look like they might advance on us. So real quick, this is kind of a mess. I'm going to pause this real quick and, uh, and sort this out. We've got one more thing of spears, which I'm going to bring over here. Uh, Black Art Corsairs, which we'll put behind them. Let's line up all of these guys over here like this. Put them down there like that. Put our chariots on the end. Actually, we'll just leave our chariots right there. Let's bring our death hag up. Um, and what do we have that's not moving? Let's let's see. Chariot. Our chariots and these the only guys that aren't moving. So it should be okay. angle those guys a little bit and we've got our uh, we've got this we can use this wherever if we see if we see ground units if they don't move on us then obviously we will start to move forward let's go ahead and get all of our troops over here though They are moving around a little bit. I'd really like it if we were like deployed over here. That'd be super nice. But no, it picks the worst spot, right? With the trees all in the middle. Alright, everybody just about lined up. It looks like it. Let's go ahead and select everybody. Um, it's a huge group, so this probably isn't going to work. But we'll try to move up like that. I mean, it'll work. It's just not going to move them all slowly. Let's go ahead while they're moving up. We'll get Malekith up here. And uh, see if we can't get a view of what's going on. There's the troopies. There's their bolt thrower. And it looks like they are actually moving on us. So... Once we get... Where's our bolt thrower? Doesn't have too far to go. Why do I keep right clicking? Come on, Malekith. Get... Fly! What are you doing? Got a little bloody. That's all right. We can go ahead and uh, assault these guys with a little bit of magic. Let's see here. Go ahead and use that. Go ahead and use our vortex. Looks like their bolt thrower is working and ours is not. So let's go ahead, we'll move all of our units up. Well, we're getting a nice little assault with the magic here. Malachus a beast. 
He'll be all right. He can take some hits. Oh, and now we've got. Let's. Uh, well, our units will get in in position in time. Our bolt thrower's not going to though. Let's just go ahead and leave him back there. Let's gather all of these troops, except for them. Let's march forward. However, our ranged units... I thought I moved these guys. Oh, we've still got the group. Our ranged units will move just to about here. Let's get our cav around here. I have to admit, I did kind of miss this. We're going to box them in. Get our chariots out over there. We're still in slow motion. That's all right, though. Let's get rid of some of these if we can. Oh, man, we're just out of range for that. Where's our death hag? Let's actually get her in here. Let's actually move our dark shards up. Doing so hot here. Hear my words. By Let's get these guys firing Kill on specific people. Kill everything. No mercy. And whoa, whoa, camera, hold on. We've got these guys that we need to get in here. Whoa, camera, what are you doing? And please don't die, Malekith. He is getting really low. Send him after their general. Dark shots. Corsair hand bows. Chariots. Bride of Cain. Slaughter. I think that's their last unit that hasn't routed. Yeah, there we go. Victory. Uh, these guys took a beating. I really like the large battles, but I have to say it's with the uh, with the mod AI being a lot smarter than the um, vanilla AI. It's really a lot when you have a big army. It's a lot to to watch and take control of, and really stay on top of everything. And if you watch Lionheart's videos, you'll see that he makes mistakes too sometimes, where you just forget about a unit. It's just, it's so much going on at once. It's hard to uh, keep up with the with the AI. So we lost a Spearman and a uh, Black Art Corsair. Of course, we didn't lose any of the garrison. Uh, 
Ah, enchanted item gain. Nice. Melee attack plus two. Bound spell. Whip of agony. Hmm. Alright, so what can we recruit from here? We can recruit both of those. And actually, since that army's gone, hopefully that's the only one. We're going to go ahead and head back this way and attempt to do what we were doing last time. Oh, and we had our sorceress. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure if I want to put her back in Malekith's army. I guess it's what we've got for now. So, once we get things settled a little better, we might put... Um, we might put her in the other army and put the assassin in Malekith's army. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, yeah, and then we'll be full once our level 40 death hag comes back. I thought we had a level 40, maybe not. No, it must be her here. Look at all these wounded... It's ridiculous, these... Uh... These darn things, come on. Alright, unassigned skill point for Hell Sphere. I think we were just going with melee attack from here. Don't need immortality. Actually, we do, because she's not a legendary lord, and we're getting her leveled up enough that I'd like to have immortality on her. And we're also going to go with missile resistance. Because uh, being a being on a dragon, that's kind of a, a pain in a the butt. Lightning strike doesn't do much for us. Conan we're just gonna auto this one, and ah, oh, we didn't lose anything. All right, Feast perfect. Let's just go ahead and occupy this. Get rid of this. Uh, we definitely need... We don't really need, need more growth. Um, but there's not really anything else up here we need. I guess we can do that. And we're going to come around here next time. Oh, and we've got this too, so public order. Uh, ten for next turn, and then corruption. Corruption is going down quite a bit. We can do untainted plus one or we can just go straight for public order. Let's go with untainted for now. Building upgrade available. Of course, we're not upgrading that. Dreadlord of the and, man, I really, really want to get rid of this. This, um, agent down here. Cunning, vicious, knowledgeable, confident. Do we have anything that's going to help us get rid? Doesn't look like it. Strong is a pretty nice attribute. We don't. Let's go ahead and end the turn. See what transpires. We're making pretty good money now. We'll see if we can get Get some trade, get some more trade going at the end of this turn. At the end of this end turn, I guess I should say. Let's see if Lothern does anything. Tyra, Tyra, we've got to get rid of her. Oh, good for them. Not like I care in the least. War declared. Woohoo! Again, not like I care in the least. <laughs> this guy. He's about to be gone anyways when we take over this. We are going to have Hellsphere sit up here for a couple turns, though. 
All right. Uh, Wand of Gents actually pretty good. What is this? Carry out a second. Yeah, I would like to. I would like to carry out a successful sa assassination. Uh, let's try. Thirty-eight percent. That's all I've got. Uh, ah! Ah! We did it! We got him! Yeah! We got our wand of jet, which is nice. Oh, finally we got rid of her. Let's go with Assault the Garrison. Oh, man. Now let's see. Malekith, he's already got... Um, the Brass Cleaver, 8 melee attack. I feel like we've got better stuff. Why is this is this not registering? Oh, this affects all allies in range too. So maybe that's why it's not registering. Melee defense, missile resistance, physical resistance, ward save, and more melee attack. Uh, that's actually pretty nice. The ward save is really nice. Let's switch to that. Um. The Helm of Discord wouldn't be too bad. Armor, defense. Brass Cleaver. Yeah, we could go straight for our weapon strength, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with weapon strength. We don't have anything. Do we have any good banners? Yeah, we've got a good banner. Let's see if we can get uh, leadership. We don't really need that. Let's go with the banner of the flame. That's nice to have. Do we have anything better? Not really. All right. Yeah, before I forget, let's actually check our trade real quick. See if we can get yes. trade with the Empire now. We are friendly yeah, with them. We still can't. Bretonia, still improving. Nothing with them. We don't even, we can't even get a non-aggression pact with these guys. Alright, now I wanted to check her equips. Tomb of Furion. Uh, it's a bombardment, which is nice. Is she on the Pegasus? Yeah, she's on the Pegasus. So missile resistance would be nice for her too. Do we have anything better here, enchanted item? Uh, Potion of Toughness, that's better than this really. I feel anyways. So we'll give her a potion of toughness. Tomb of Furion for the Black Staff. Causes damage to self though. Wand of Jet and Power Stone are the same. Both only have one use. This says 45 second cooldown, so that mean I can use it more times? Medium strike area. Strong versus a single unit, strong versus a single combatant. I think we'll keep that. And I still don't see anything. So let's go to Force March. Try and get up here. I feel like we're gonna get up here soon, but then they're gonna send they're gonna send something after us. Um yeah. I just don't know. We'll have to We'll have to see. Was the other guy wounded? Fa oh, it was a critical failure. He was wounded. Alright, so we got this guy back. Don't really need two assassins here. So I guess we can just send this guy forward and see what we're dealing with. Of course, he's recruiting. This went down really fast. 
really, really fast. Corruption is out of control. Let's go with more public order. Need to get this to level 3 so we can get some other buildings going as well. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and go with this. More building upgrades, just so we quit getting the notification. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. It doesn't really do anything else besides recruitment cost. And a little bit of public order. We're getting 6. We're at plus 7. We almost don't need it. Actually, I think we're going to get rid of this and see if we can't get something a little more useful. And then we've got an unassigned skill point for Nonins here. Uh, replenishment. Cold one. Wow, weapon strength drops a lot on the cold one. That's interesting. Level 13, 14, and then 18. Um, cold ones can uh, rampage, so I think we'll hold off on that. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? I guess we can go with more healing. Sure, whatever. And that is it. So that's where we're going to end it this time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. We are getting a hang of things. Um, suffering some attrition, too. We are getting uh, control of the situation. And, uh, and yeah, once we get some elite units in Malekith's army, we will be pushing. We'll probably come down here and get rid of the High Elves down here. Uh, and then we'll think about hopping over because we're not at war with the... Yeah, we're not at war with the Lizardmen, although they do not like us. That's true. They don't like us. Uh, main reason is they apparently like the High Elves, so... I guess if we have to go to war with them, we will. But we're going to push down here at least. Then we'll bring Malekith over. Once Hellsphere is done up there, she'll come down and continue. And then we'll go to war with the Lizardmen. So that is the plan for the foreseeable future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching. More good stuff to come. Take care.